Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Nitin Kaplas. So let's talk about today's problem. Our problem name is odd even problem. So let's read the question first. Our question said, given a string s of lowercase English characters, find out whether the summation of x and y is even or odd. So here the x is count of distinct character which occupied even position in English alphabet and have positive even frequency. And why is the count of distinct character which occupied odd positions in English alphabet and have positive odd frequency? So, in this first case, if you see the string is A triple B double C, our output is odd. It means the summation of X and Y is odd. So, we just print odd. If the summation is even, so just we have to print the even in this case. So, let's understand with this example. So, here we have X equal to A triple B double C. Right, the question said x plus y. So the x is just a count of, if you just read this line, it's just a count of distinct character, right, which occupied even position in alphabet, English alphabet. At the same time, that particular character frequency is also even. In that case, if even, even are matching, so we just increment it. Else, if odd, odd is matching in the y case, increment it. After that, we just Club that and check it's even or not. So if you see distinct character, if we have the dist we need three things here. Distinct character count, right? Count of distinct character plus we need English alphabet means in this case even, even position in English alphabet. Third thing, it's even frequency, that particular character. If these two things is matching for a particular character, we just increment that in the x case. Similarly, in the y case for odd and odd, right? Odd position plus odd frequency, right? So let's check this. So what I'm doing is I just create a map and uh, store its frequency, right? So the frequency part is over, right? And uh, the distinct character is over. These are the three which are distinct. Now it's just time to check that particular character is at even place or odd place in English alphabet, right? So English alphabet are these. So if you see, it's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Okay, so we just have to check these both case. So I just simply traverse this map, right? So if you see, let me do the dry run also. So in the first case, my character is A, right? My character is A. So first step is, it's even position or not. So yeah, it's e uh, it's not, it's odd, right? It's odd. So if it's odd, this is odd. So let me write position is odd. At the same time, I'm asking in the map, what's its frequency? It's also odd. Frequency is also odd. So it means it's in the case of Y. Simply, I just increment that, right? So suppose my answer initially is zero. So here I am neglecting x and y, simply I am just increment that. So my answer is 1 now. Now my ch is b. So what is position in alphabet b? 2, right? It means even. Here I am asking what its frequency? It's odd. It's not matching now. It's not matching. Simply go in the forward direction. Now in the third case, my ch is c. Let's check. It's even. Sorry, it's odd. Position is odd. So I am writing position is odd. Now what's its frequency? It's even. Frequency is even. I am not increment anything, right? It means only y is incremented one time, right? Because odd or matching. So here my y is 1 and x is 0. What's my answer? 1. My answer here is count as 1. Now I am checking that answer, that count is even or odd. It's odd. So what I am printing? Odd. Simple. Right. So let's do the uh, coding part. Right. So let's do the step by step. So first step is simply create a map. Right. Of character and integer value. And what I am doing here is I simply fill that. Right. Just traverse my string character and here I am filling. Okay. So the first step is complete. So here I am creating a answer variable. And what I am doing is, I am simply traverse my map. 
and here i am as extract its character value right now two things we have to match if my ch minus a this give me where it's even or odd right so suppose that it's even so here just think about this this give me zero because a minus a it's zero right so if you see here a minus a is zero but it's odd right it's odd so just simply here what i am doing is i just get the value in terms of zero base indexing but it's not even it's odd right so please take care of this it's odd when it's equal equal to zero it's odd right and what i am doing is i am simply asking its frequency if its frequency is odd in that case answer plus plus else if my ch minus a if this thing is it's uh, not equal to zero it means odd but zero base indexing it means even right and its frequency is even in that case also i am doing the answer plus plus else continue right simply continue part so at the end what i am doing is i am checking my answer mod if it's equal equal to zero in that case just return even else odd right so this is a simple implementation let's compile and check yeah it's working let's submit yeah as you see all the test cases are passed so what's the time complexity so if you see here just i am traversing my o of s length right and here simply i am traversing it and in the inner part i am just calculating it right it's it's a constant part so in the worst case its complexity is big of s right so where s is the length of it so i hope you understand the solution and intuition thank you so much